Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will talk about the trigger functionality of QuickView. So this will be basically an overview video where I will talk about different types of triggers which you can use. But before telling you what triggers are, uh, let's see what uh, is the definition of uh, triggers. So most of you, if you are watching this video, have been into IT or using the IT programs and uh, must have used buttons and different kind of menus like you know here also uh, you have reports uh, and edit reports so it's basically a menu or some kind of a button like save button and all so all of these are basically different buttons where some programming has been done and when you hit or click on these buttons or menus they perform some kind of an operation so in a, so in a similar fashion uh, e triggers are basically uh, some kind of stored events which triggers or fires when any uh, specific event occurs. For example, uh, you have an event called uh, a dashboard needs to be run on every Monday. Then you can specify some kind of a trigger and execute it whenever Monday occurs. So program automatically recognize when the specific day will uh, come based on your computer setting and fires an event in to be very specific in terms of quick view uh, we have triggers at uh, sheet level or a document level field level or variable level so if you can see here i have two different sheets so i have already gone ahead and uh, created a trigger which says that whenever i am coming or activating the main sheet I need to select the excluded values so for example if I'm going on sheet 1 here I have some values but as soon as I'm going on this main tab you see that now India and UK is selected because that's the setting or the trigger I have specified in the backhand so if I go back to sheet 1 you can see India and uh, another country like UK is coming but if I go back again on main the US will be selected so this is what it is happening my desired operation so to go back and see where the triggers are i can right click on this sheet tab and select the sheet properties and here the triggers tab the last tab is a trigger tab where i can specify the event on activating sheet that's what i have done whenever i was uh, activating the main tab or selecting the main tab the event was getting executed or on leave sheet that means if i am leaving the sheet main sheet then what action or trigger should tri uh, uh, fire so if i uh, edit this so before if i have not specified anything then i will get a button like add action but because i have specified already an action to it that's why i'm getting this option of uh, edit action so if i click on this then you can see the action i have specified which is select excluded so which i'm saying that uh, use the field country to select the excluded values so if i need to add any other operation or delete it i can do that if i click on add i get a window where i get a different types of actions so selection is where you know i have specified select excluded by selecting here select excluded action if i need to specify some of any of the action related to bookmark then i go here and specify it if there is any external uh, action like opening a url running a macro and uh, closing this document reload all of these different kinds of action i can do related to their action type so for now i will click cancel if i need to delete it i can simply select delete and click OK. OK. So now if I go back to sheet 1 and come back to main, you can see that there is no change in the field country. So this is basically a functionality I wanted to show you. So the first thing I have shown you is at the sheet level where I can uh, right click on the sheet tab, go to sheet properties, go to the triggers tab and add or remove or edit the action similarly we have uh, uh, triggers at document or uh, field level or variable level 
but where uh, in the settings document properties there you can see this trigger tab where uh, you can specify document event triggers triggers that happen at a document level field event triggers triggers that happen at field level and the variable event triggers so these are basically different types of events that means on any select on open on post reduce on post reload these are different types of event to which you can assign a trigger so again similar kind of functionality i have selected on any select that means wherever anything is selected i want to perform a certain type of action what action it is i can say bookmark and create a bookmark that means whenever any action will happen or selection will happen it will create a bookmark of it right or i can go external i can say whenever any selection happen launch something or open the url open the quick view document or run a macro anything which of which is of my interest and my business needs it right so you can see you can specify document event triggers on any select on open on post reduce on post reload all of these different events are there at a document level and it is very important to understand uh, these different types of events in details in this video i'm not going very much into the detail uh, because of timings and as well as you know i just wanted to give an overview of it but you should go ahead and read the quick view reference manual to better understand each of these events because some of the events uh, are doesn't work on server or in a specific kind of condition like on ajax client or things like that so for example uh, one thing one example i can give is about the on open event so this event will not function when you are running this in the ajax client that means there will be no effect and your user will be confused uh, that why the action is not happening even if it has been guided by the uh, developer or the business analyst about a certain type of functionality similarly you have uh, field event triggers they are very specific to uh, different types of fields that is there in the in your sheet so you can select any of the field and specify the action you want to perform you may want to exclude the selection or include the uh, selection different types of things which you can do based on these events on select on change on lock and on unlock so these are the four events which is assigned to the field event triggers and their respective actions if you are specifying it similarly you have a variable event triggers and here you can set actions to trigger on changes in the contents of a specified variable in this document so so far i have not specified any variable but if i have specified any variable it would have listed like these fields over here and then i could have selected any of the variable and assign the action to it based on on input event or on change event so on input event is basically uh, it will assign an action or an action will be executed each time a new value is directly entered in the selected variable so you must have seen the input box where you can directly enter the value and there you know it would it would have been more or it will be very useful to assign an action uh, whenever you are entering a new va va value to the variable on change so here the action will be executed each time the value of the selected variable changes as a result of changes in the other variables or logical state of the document so these are the different things which uh, you can go ahead and assign uh, to your either at a sheet level document level field level or a variable level where an event can be fired based on the settings you have specified at these different levels so in this video i just wanted to give you a very high level overview of different types of events uh, trigger i'm sorry triggers which are present in the quick view and what are uh, you know different types of functionalities which is attached to it different types of events and uh, 
how uh, these events will fire uh, just wanted to give you a high level understanding about it so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video but in coming videos i will discuss more about each and every event trigger each and every event and the trigger as associated to it so that uh, everybody will have a very good understanding of different types of triggers which are present in the click view and in which kind of scenario they will be really helpful uh, based on you know our different types of business problems and situations we have uh, we usually come across so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you will find this video useful and i will meet you in a new video new topic till then bye bye